guys thank you for tuning back into my channel today is going to be a coloring video i am going to color this unit that i made i got this hair from a company called unice or unice hair company it is from aliexpress but i am going to take the wig clips off of this hair i was having a lot of issues with it pulling on my edges so i would really strongly suggest not to ever put wig clips on your wigs um either sew it on or use wig clips so i'm going to cut these off before i do the color and then i am going to eventually sew it on my head instead of using wig clips so stay tuned and we'll get right to the color The color that I'm going to be using today is the Adore Aquamarine. I'm going to be coloring this. this is an ombre wig that I got from Eunice. It did come like this. I didn't bleach it or anything. I got the hair like that. So I only have one bottle of the Adore. And I have to do four bundles and a closure, basically. So I'm going to mix it with this cheap VO5 conditioner. That will stretch it some. And I think people use it sometimes to make their color a little lighter. I'm using it to stretch the bottle because I only have one bottle. So stay tuned and I'll show you the process. Um, I do not have a uh, applicator brush so I am just going to be using my hands in a comb y'all. So bear with me. This is what I find works best for me. It's easier to for me to get every strand of hair and as I said it's just what works best for me. So stay tuned and I'll show you the final results of the color. So this is the final results of the color. The color is absolutely beautiful. This aquamarine is more of a tealish with a slight green in it, but I absolutely love the color. As I said, my hair was ombre and it went um, maybe like three or four tones all the way to a blonde, blonde, blonde. So my ends are the actual aquamarine color the best, which I absolutely love. This color is gorgeous. So right now what I'm doing is just stitching in random spots on my head like uh, both my temples and right where the lace closure stops and then I did like a line by where the nape is and I'm just putting a couple stitches there just to secure the wig. I know some people do um, go ahead and stitch around the whole perimeter but I find that I didn't need to do that. Just making a couple stitches around the perimeter works well for me. So stay tuned and I will show you how I stab the hair and I will also show you the results.
this is the final results of the hair. Um, this is my Eunice Brazilian Body Wave hair that I put on a wig cap. Um, I said I wasn't going to do a sew-in for a while. I don't really consider this a sew-in, but I did take the wig clips off, as you can see. You can sew them down. I did not go all the way around the perimeter. I just picked random spots. Like, I made a couple stitches here. I made a couple stitches here. I made a, made a couple stitches right after the closure. And then I... I did like a line in the back just maybe in spots where I gap the tracks is where I would make a stitch and I mean this is really cute I really love this color this is the aquamarine the last time that I did like a mermaid color I did aqua aquamarine mixed with the emerald green so this time I just wanted to do the aquamarine by itself and this is the beautiful color this color is so pretty y'all I don't know if I was ready to do like just the whole aquamarine with my head, like just do all aquamarine. So I took my ombre hair that I got from Unice Hair, Unice or Unice Hair, and just went ahead and put that through that color on there. So as you can see, it did still take the color. It was already blonde. It was like a three-toned from like a dark brown to a lighter brown to a honey blonde. And it may be close to four because the, the tips were blonde. And then it went from a honey blonde, then a little shade darker, then it was like a dark brown. Um, so yeah. But this is a gorgeous hair. It's still very, very soft. I did want to go ahead and try it with the flexi rods. Um, it took me so long to get flexi rods, y'all, but I'm glad I did. Flexi rods are really great. As you can see, I did still have some wet parts in my hair, so I had to use my um my little Conair wand curler because I didn't. I mean, I don't have time to wait for it to dry. Um, I ran out of flexi rods, so I had so like over here were two um parts that were really big and it was still wet. So I just blow dried it and then used my wand curl. I have to buy, I feel like I have to buy some more of these because up here was really tight because I did smaller sections up here and down here was a lot looser. So just make sure you have an even amount of flexi rod so you can put a good amount, the same amount over here as you put over there. I ended up running out and over here had less and that's why it ended up with a wet spot. But overall this hair is gorgeous. If you want to check out this hair... I will post the link below of exactly where I got this hair from. It is from AliExpress, and this hair is beautiful. You can see it still has its shine, and it did already come ombre. This was hair that I got that was already ombre. I did not put bleach on this hair. I just put color on the hair. I will um, post a picture of what the hair looked like before I put the color on. Um, I will also post the links to my first couple videos I posted with this hair before I colored it. But I'm very happy with this color and I'm very happy with this hair. I feel like I revamped this wig a little bit more because I really wasn't wearing it that much. I mean, I like the blonde, but I like the blue better. So this is Adore Aqua, Aqua Marine. I think it was maybe like $3 at my local beauty supply store. I'm not sure if they sell it online. I know I, I know Adore has a website, but I feel like when I went on there, they just show the colors. So... Definitely check out your local beauty supply store if you want to try this color. But um, I'm really happy with this hair. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask below. But thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.